recently i have created these applications and uh, i will share in this video how can you create fast applications on android studio for that you have to uh, go to any browser to download android studio if you already downloaded then it's okay let's download android studio android studio just click on it and search on uh, google when you search on google uh, go to the websites of developer.android.com just clicking on the first link is showing here and when you click on first link then you can see that download android studio ladybug feature drop that means it is the latest version of android just click on on download and we have to have read the agreement i'm using mac with m1 chip that's why i am uh, downloading the mac apple chip version if you intel version then you can uh, download this chip or you can use a linux or uh, windows laptop then or pc then those option will show for your device actually i am downloading the app okay i'm saving it when you downloaded the applications i'm not downloading just uh, uh, click on next 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 then you can uh, install the android studio okay after installing the android studio just uh, go to the android studio i am going to android studio okay when you uh, open the android studio then you will see uh, i have already created some app that's why this is showing like that if you don't uh, created any application then it will not shown and uh, i think on the middle screen you will see the new project that uh, click on new project or from the left file option you can click on new then new project right for the windows interface it will be different but you can see new project anywhere actually okay when click on new project then you can see that by default a lots of uh, ready-made template for building applications so the uh, empty activity with jetpack compose is recent growing because jetpack compose is recent growing and you uh, it is a better to use jetpack compose to build your applications ui i'm clicking on empty activity and clicking on it then you can provide your applications i'm providing my first application and clicking on finish okay that means your application is initializing and all file will be import for your applications actually okay and let uh, finish the importing options okay everything will be imported for your applications and for your run applications and from the left side you can see that uh, there is a two uh, options which is device manager and and running device I if i click on this then there is a no running device and if i click on device manager then you can see that um, there are two emulator here if you already uh, downloaded the emulator then those emulator will be shown here if not installed any emulator then you can just go to add option new device and create virtual device you can run your applications on your android device physical device or you can use emulator i am just using emulator and i will share how can you use your device to run the applications i am selecting emulator which i already uh, added from here how can you edit this just click on plus button and create new virtual emulator and then select any of them for your preference and then click on next and click on next and just click on finish then it will create a virtual device and that will shown on here okay i am uh, from the left i'm just toggle off here and just clicking on the emulator and click on the run button from the top i think you can see that 
right yes you can see this okay and it's connecting with emulator emulator is running Let's wait for build the application and running the app on emulator. It will take few seconds. okay waiting for target device to online okay this is gradle run is finished that means our application setup is done and applications build also done and when the device is running then just it will install on the device right it's launching in the device App is installed successful. Click on it. Okay, our first application done. Here you can see that hello Android, right? That means uh, from here you can see here hello Android. You can put the name on here hello, or you can put this is new app and deleting this with and click on save when you click on save and rerun the applications then we can see the update let's see it launching the device okay you can see that our changes is live now right how this way you can build your first applications if you want to change your application so let let change the application for that i am just taking screenshots of the first one and i will put the app icon this okay let's go to app then go to rest and uh, right click on the rest and click on new and go to image as assets click on it okay when you click on it uh, then go to foreground and here you can see that path click on path with file then select your uh, app icon document desktop i have already created a icon using screenshots you can just put on open and you can see that app is and for the background just put it color and those color will be black okay and click on next and click on finish okay uh, uh, achha, okay allow already our icon is changed let's see it's visible or not
okay this is our applications this is first app which we named before let's see it's changed or not just app is launching right now okay installation successful you can see that icon in change in the splash screen and when we go back to home let's go back to home from clicking on these options it's taking time Well, it's not working right now let's go back to home okay you can see that the name is changed right my first if i click on this the app is open that's why you can this way you can build your first applications